Welcome to the book of Exodus. We're in 35 verses 30 to 35, and here they are. Then Moses said to the sons of Israel, See, the Lord is called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, the tribe of Judah. And he has filled him with the Spirit of God in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and in all craftsmanship, to make designs for working in gold and in silver and in bronze, and in the cutting of stones for settings and for in the carvings of wood, so as to perform in every inventive work. He also has put it in his heart to teach both he and Oholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. He has filled them with skill to perform every work of an engraver and of a designer and of an embroiderer in blue and in purple and in scarlet material and in fine linen and of a weaver as performers of every good work and makers of designs. So here we have a couple guys put out here by name, Oholiab and Bezalel. And uh, what's interesting to me here is that Yes, they are given the skill. God has filled them with the spirit of God in wisdom and understanding and in knowledge and in all craftsmanship. So it sounds as though there's a supernatural element here to their craftsmanship. The things that they're making are not just, they're not purely making in, in uh, because of human skill, but there's something beyond that, an endowment, a divine endowment, so that they're making this stuff just absolutely perfect. And the other piece that I thought was especially interesting here that stood out to me was verse 34. He also has put it in his heart to teach both he and Aholiab. And so here what we can see is that all the work that's going on for the construction of the tabernacle, some of it's being done by highly skilled people. Some it's being done by highly skilled people who are uh, endowed by the Holy Spirit with unique skill, supernatural skill. And then we see that the, it appears that they're teaching others some of the skills. So that's the interesting piece from 34. He has also put it in his heart to teach. Teaching is part of the work of God. Teaching is something that we sort of take for granted. And yet if you have a, a teacher, and not only a, good, a preacher who can preach, but one who uh, his preaching is teaching, uh, that's a good thing. If you have uh, church officers and helpers and people that are doing different tasks, They'll have to teach others so that it can be passed on from generation to generation. So we need to teach others and pass on our skills. But I think it's interesting here that you have people who uh, are engaged in the craftsmanship of building the sanctuary. And not only do we have some supernaturally endowed people, but those very same ones that are supernaturally endowed are teaching others how to do this fine, finely skilled craft to pull things together. Teaching is part of the work of God. So... Uh, don't feel bad if you're a teacher, if you are uh, you kind of feel you're neglected or something, or uh, teachers aren't treated that well. We, we In the church, we should treat teachers with respect and kindness. Uh, they put a lot of effort and energy in, and when God will teach through us, it's a beautiful and precious experience. See you next time.